Professor Horace Slughorn was the potions teacher during two tenures in Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. He played a key role in Tom Riddle's Rise to Power when he inadvertently confirmed the young wizard's research on how to create horcruxes, something he held with deep regret for many years. But was it truly a slip of the tongue on Professor Slughorn's behalf? Yes, there was no way he could have known he just instructed the person who would become the greatest dark wizard of all time on a method of how to create immortality. Yet, he did it to maintain Tom's favour. You see, this is what Horace Slughorn did as a sort of hobby. He believed that life was more satisfying for high achievers, especially if he himself could benefit from their achievements. Slughorn soon discovered that his favouritism towards students that excelled in his classes returned him favours in the area that they developed their careers in. His goal was to network the wizarding world and create as many connections as possible in order to gain as many favours as possible. From this experience, he then created the Slug Club, a social gathering between Horace and a select few students who were chosen at his discretion and in his eyes were future leaders of the wizarding world. Through these Slug Club dinner parties, the professor created a trusting friendship that would lead to him gaining favour amongst these students and later receiving many gifts and favours on a consistent basis. Examples of such were when he was sent boxes of sweets, given free tickets for Quidditch matches, advising ministry officials, gaining him stature although he did not wish to be put in the limelight, and contributing a piece of writing on any subject he wished that would be published in the Daily Prophet. While quite an admirable character, the professor tended to be rather unfavourable to the students who were below par, not even bothering to learn their names. He never seemed to get Ron Weasley's surname correct, nor did he care. However, he was never unkind to these students. Slughorn was determined to leave a long-lasting impression on the students he wished to benefit from. Tom Riddle, for example, was a student who Horace thought very highly of and trusted, even though Tom went on to become Lord Voldemort, murdering more people than you can imagine. The Dark Lord still thought highly enough of his old teacher to want him to teach in the new Hogwarts. It's clear Horace Slughorn collected students for a reason. He was a man who didn't want a piece of the power these future wizards of the world would go on to achieve. He just wanted to make sure that he was acknowledged by them, and also influential over them while they were his students, in order to gain their favour in the future. Thank you very much for watching today's video everyone, I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did enjoy it then please make sure to give this video a thumbs up as it helps out the video in a great deal and it also helps the channel to grow. Why did Professor Slughorn collect wizards? It's something that just plagued my mind for the last couple of days so I thought I'd make a video on it. So let me know what you think in the comment section below, why do you think that he collected wizards? Also continue to leave your video suggestions in the comment section as well, your choice could be next. And finally if you haven't already then please consider subscribing to my channel Harry Potter Folklore for more Harry Potter content. Thank you very much for watching again and do not forget, have a great day.